I don't know how well you can see me. Yes, it is a very gray, dark, drizzly, rainy day here in the Raleigh-Durham area. And I am basically here today to talk about my disgust with the SJWs, or the NPCs, or whatever the hell they like to be called these days, for their vicious attacks on Stan Lee, the man, the myth, the founder of Marvel Comics. Well, maybe not founder, but the point is, they don't even wait for the body to get cold. I mean, they start attacking him right away that he was sexist, he was racist, he was uh, uh, transphobic, homophobic, blah, blah, blah. And all the stuff that real people just make fun of anyway. So, seriously, what is this all about? Why are they attacking this guy now? They don't even wait for the body to get cold, do they? So, <clears throat> they've basically decided to attack the man. You know, why? Because he pinched a nurse on the ass? Hey, he was being playful. You know, we've all fantasized about doing it. And you ladies, what you talk about in your pillow talk time, yeah, don't give me that. Don't give me the hypocrisy. So basically, that's why I'm so pissed off right now. This should have been a great time. It should have been a joyful time celebrating the man's life and legacy and his work and his dreams. He was basically an everyman and a living legend at the same time. Now he's a passing legend. And while we mourn his passing, SJWs seem to revel in it, celebrating it, basically putting the man down because it's so politically expedient to do so. And who is doing this? Well, SJW writers are doing it. Yes, the very people who never had any business writing in comics at all to begin with. Those people. I mean, right now, his surviving relatives are going through a very, very tough time right now, and they do not need this right now. They do not need the lying, piece-of-crap SJW garbage that is being spewed forth right now on, on Twitter. I mean, I'd pull up the account, but, hey, I don't have a Twitter account, so that might be for the best. And even if I did, you know what? I'm not going to read their tweets. I don't want to read them. Other than to say, you know, goodbye, bitch, or something like that. I don't want to read these tweets. They disgust me, and they should disgust you, too. If you truly are a fan, you ought to be offended and disgusted by all this. And I'm not easily offended. But quite frankly, I am utterly pissed off at the SJWs. I mean, I had enough reason to hate these people already. They had cucked up some of the greatest superheroes. They basically... They tried to make Spider-Man gay, okay? They tried to make Peter Parker gay. And this is why... This is why Stan Lee was attacked as a homophobe. Because... Uh, some SJW writers thought it might be a good idea to make Peter Parker a homosexual man. But Stan Lee stood his ground and said, no, that wouldn't be in good taste. Because Peter Parker was an established character for what now some which is in for 50 plus years. And you can't take an established character and suddenly change his sexuality to better suit your agenda or your political ideology. This is wrong on so many levels. So for that, LGBT members are attacking him. Yep, the LGBT FDQ and the LGBTQ FD X, Y, and Z members are attacking him. Oh, you don't even want to know what I call F the FD part. But they're basically attacking him because they wouldn't allow Spider-Man because they when he wanted Spider-Man to stay straight and they wanted him to be gay. Yeah, that really makes a lot of sense. And they also say that he's transphobic. Let me tell you something about American homosexuals, okay? They make up only 4% of the American population. And as for the transgenders, they make up 0.2%. So why bother making a small minority of people who don't even care about your product anyway happy? 
why bother catering to such a tiny minority of people who don't even read comics to begin with? It's just a waste. When are the SJWs going to learn? They will lose this battle. This is a fight that we will win. And we're going to win it. We're already winning against Star Wars by telling Disney no. We're not going to go see any more of these movies. Last Jedi was awful. Solo was a colossal bomb. And I predict Episode Nine will also be a failure. That's what happens when you piss off a hardcore fan base. Food for thought. SJWs. Anyway, I've said my piece. As a very well-respected and very well-liked Australian reviewer says, thanks for watching. Now get the hell out of my house. Get off my property. Toasty.